Once upon a time, Nintendo released a console known as the Wii U. It was a pathetic console that only sold 13 million units in total. Four years later, a Nintendo would release another console, now known as the Nintendo Switch. It, however, was a pathetic console with no good games. Until, AI The Somnium Files released on September 17th, 2019. It was perfect. Do ignore the fact that I never picked it up until the summer of 2022. Maybe that's why I've always been so pathetic. Today, I'm going to be covering AI The Somnium Files. It's a murder mystery visual novel that's so good, yet unfortunately, not a lot of people have heard about it. Throughout the video, you'll be seeing my thoughts on the video game, and you might hear a thing or two from one of my friends. Anyways, here's AI The Somnium Files, an eye-opening mystery. So before I begin, I believe I should say this. This game is filled with unnerving, scary, and downright creepy subject material. So if you're sensitive to that stuff, unfortunately you're going to be out of luck, because this game has a lot of gore thanks to its mature rating. AI The Somnium Files is a murder mystery, and damn, it's a really well-written one. There's so many twists and turns that makes your skin it, and the mysteries in the game are so good. I was always confused with each revelation, but when the ending reveals everything, it becomes a mindfuck and it makes you think that you should have realized this from the very beginning. I won't spoil any of the major beats in the game here, but man, the story's insanely good. The multiple routes help out with this, with new ones diverging with insomniums. Anyways. The game opens up to a murder scene with her first victim. When she was alive, she was a friend of Date at some point. But right now, that doesn't matter as her right eye is ripped out and we have no idea why that happened. Eventually, we do discover that Mizuki, the victim's daughter, is inside the hidden room and with a murder weapon? I believe that this is a great opening as it showcases the grim yet funny tone that the Somnium Files manages to achieve. The game is gruesome, yet the jokes delivered throughout are so funny and don't detract from the game at all. I stand corrected. As much as I do love this game and its humor, I'll be the first to admit that there are a lot of times where the game just reuses a joke again and again, or just plain uncomfortable jokes that feel out of place. The gameplay in AI The Somnium Files is split up into two parts. The first part is your standard visual novel, with you just talking. The second half is going into Somniums, where you go to a third person view and play as Aiba. The game is really unique and it's helped by these two different gameplay styles. Right now I'll start with the first part, Investigations, and then later on I'll go over Somniums. So, investigations turn the game into a point-and-click adventure where you can talk to characters, inspect the environment, and holy shit, there's so much to inspect and it's, and it's all fully voiced. I highly recommend clicking and investigating literally everything. It's so much fun, I've never had so much fun in a game before, and there was this recurring character, but ooh, I actually can't really remember. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? Hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name. Overall, inspecting literally everything is highly recommended, as you can get more information out of a certain topic, a funny joke, or even Aiba acting incredibly cute. Date, look! A cricket! Oh my gosh, Aiba is adorable and precious and must be protected at all costs. Investigations are the more mature side of the game, and man, they handle it extremely well. There are so many parts in the story that shocked me so much, and I had so many goosebumps running down my skin during the most important parts. An example would be when one of the characters was found in a vase. That shit scarred me for life. This was a huge reason why I love the game so much, and shows how talented the developers are over at Spike Chunsoft. AI The Somnium Files isn't their first mature horror visual novel, but, but man, it's so different and unique. Now, let's jump into Somniums, the deepest part of the gameplay. This game is weird. So, some people might be wondering what the fuck is a Somnium? Well, before I can explain that, I need to explain who our main character is. Data is part of an organization known as Abyss, and it's their job to jump into the minds of people to find out the truth surrounding a certain topic. 
When we're in the Somniums, we control Iba, Datai's AI bear. The most unique part about this game is within the Somniums, as there are multiple routes that you can take that alters your current path in the story. Some of these endings are heartwarming, while others are heartbreaking. Some of these routes expand further into a character, and makes them even better than before. Since there are a lot of routes, I won't be going over all of them. You'll just have to trust me that they're good. As said before, we're jumping into people's minds to find the truth about a certain case. Well, why are we doing this? Well, in the story, there's this huge mystery about a serial killer, and we're looking for who's doing all these murders. Anyways, the Somniums are some of the coolest things I have ever seen in gaming. Since they're set in our minds, crazy, and you have to throw logic out of the window. This is because Somniums represent a character's thoughts deep down, and it'll constantly mindfuck you. Konami Date is a protagonist of AI The Somnium Files. He's a mysterious person with a mysterious past. There's a lot to love about him and a lot to hate about him. Well, first of all, he has an adorable bear inside of his eyeball, known as Aiba. He's a genius, he's a flirt, and Never expires, you've seen in your Also, he's a perfect dancer. The twist that comes with his character later on is fantastic and blew me away. In fact, it still blows me away whenever I think about it. Date is a great protagonist and I'm so glad that he was the focus of the story. It also helps that he's a great father to Mizuki. Fun fact about Aiba. In the English dub, Aiba is voiced by Erika Harlacher, the same voice actor who did Kyoko Kirigiri in the Rompa series. At the end of the day, while the story may be convoluted, confusing, and mysterious, the ending more than makes up for it. The ending for the game was a fantastic conclusion to this amazing story, because it explains everything in a perfect way, without making everything feel like a cop-out. Overall, The Somnium Files is a great title that's unique, amazing, and underrated. It's sad how a lot of my friends haven't played the game, though I hope at least some of them check out the game, especially when it's on sale for only $8.99. That's enough for two whole tamales. Never expires, you've seen in your eyes, you've seen in your mind. While the old father has, while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine, the eye clouds by design. But we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth, that if we believe we can. Spellcasting connections and seeker conventions And when you are near, there's no need to fear But call me a cynic, approaching the limit My heart and my lyrics, but will they break through? Clouds by design, but we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth that.